Hey folks, it's Daryl Anger, your freestyle peripatetic fiddling fool, and I'm out down here on the American String Teachers convention floor with the Diodario folks. If you're a fiddle player, one of the things that really comes up a lot in this kind of thing is your bowing. You know, how am I going to bow this tune? Because there's no real instruction for that with fiddling. But there are ways to, to work out a way to be free and improvise your bowing, right? Because that's what you want. You know, the tunes are pretty much the same over and over again, right? Right? That can go on for a really long time with fiddling. So, unless you're doing stuff with the bowing, uh, you know, it can get a little boring. So what we want to do, we want to be free with our bowing. We want to be able to do whatever, right? Uh -huh. We want to be able to make those decisions without even thinking about it on the spur of the moment. And that's how we you know, interpret these tunes in order to make them come alive and be real. So I have found that one of the best ways to get your bowing loosened up and to be free is to put yourself in a straitjacket. Weirdly enough, if we learn two or three bow shuffles, right? Those are patterns. A, pa a shuffle is a pattern. That's one of the most classic fiddle shuffles, bow patterns that you can use. What they call the Georgia shuffle. And then we have more interesting things like which is kind of like a 3-3-2 three, three, shuffle. Like 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, which is very much kind of an Afro-Cuban American kind of clave type of shuffle that is deeply embedded in North American music. Start painting these shuffles on a tune. I like to use the tune Fire on the Mountain because it's all eighth notes. It just goes on and on and on. So on and on, right? So let's paint that first classic, classic shuffle onto the tune. If I just did that, that would be boring. But what we're going to do is we're going to get the other shuffle. We're going to get the Georgia shuffle now. Here we go. Okay, and the last one is what I call the Kenny Baker shuffle because Kenny Baker kind of pioneered this sound. I'm going to start breaking them up. Right? 